Okay. Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about optical path of the light. Okay. So let's start. So to understand the optical path, here we considered two mediums. One is your air medium. This medium will be fixed and another is your denser medium that is your water medium. Okay. So as water medium is denser than air medium. So obviously the refractive index of the water is greater than that of the air medium. Approximately 1.3 we have for the water medium and for the air medium we know that the refractive index approximately 1. Okay. Now we are going to consider the two particles is going to move in these two mediums then what will be their velocity change. You just imagine whenever these two particles is going to be moved in the vacuum suppose this, this this is the vacuum medium or air medium and this is also the air medium but this medium is your water medium so when these two particles will be moved in the air medium both have the same velocity but whenever it will be enter the air medium the velocity will be same but when this particle will be enter into the denser medium, the velocity will be reduced as compared with this particle. Okay, you just imagine. Okay. Now we have to consider in a particular time t. Suppose this time t may be one second, maybe two second, maybe three second, whatever may be. You just think that a particular time t if these two particles will be enter into these two mediums then in a particular time t which in which medium the particle will be move longer distance see if this particle or the particle moving inside the denser medium is slower than air medium then obviously in time t suppose time t is your 2 second in 2 second this particle will be move shorter distance as compared with the vacuum or air ok so when the particle will be move in the water medium or denser medium suppose the particle moved from here to here in a particular time t ok suppose in 2 second the particle moved from here to here in the denser or water medium but in that particular 2 second, the particle will be moved in the air lar larger distance as compared with this one. Let consider first larger distance, obviously it will be larger distance. Okay, because in the air medium, the particle moving faster than the denser. Okay, the same situation we are going to consider for the light or the wave. So, Whenever the wave of a particular wavelength uh, is going to be moved or be going to be enter inside a denser medium, it will be travel a particular distance in particular time t. Suppose time t to is your two second. In two second, suppose this light wave traveled this distance. Obviously, the same light having the same wavelength <coughs> and same energy it will be travel the longer distance in the air medium because in the air medium the particle or wave is traveling faster than the tensor so obviously uh, this distance whenever the particle will be travel in the air medium it will be longer distance so let consider the, the particle whatever traveled in the denser medium the distance is d in a particular time t the time t you can take anything okay that may be two second three second whatever now in that particular time the light will be propagate all is going to be traveled larger distance as compared with the denser medium same light having the same energy or you can say same wavelength and frequency that light will be travel larger distance in a particular time t in your air medium as compared with any denser medium. Here we taken an example as water 
but here this denser medium can be anything can be glass can be fiber can be plastic anything any transparent medium okay this denser medium can be changed but the this medium is going to be it will be constant okay so whenever we are going to try to find out the optical path at that time we have to consider how much distance the light will be travel in air medium as compared with its denser medium okay so this d this is this is your d dash this distance is considered as d and this distance is your d dash and this d dash is nothing but your optical path okay the same light having the same wavelength and frequency if in a particular time t that may be 2 second or 3 second is traveled a particular distance d then in that particular distance the same light having the same energy or wavelength or frequency how much distance it will travel if it will travel d dash distance then this d dash will be called as your optical path of this distance okay now we are going to find out what will be the relation between d dash and d okay here uh, this is the calculation velocity of light in air we know that general velocity uh, velocity is your distance by time so velocity of light we know that c will be equal to how much this distance d dash by time t okay velocity of light in water <coughs> if it is v suppose if it is v then how much distance it has been traveled d by time t same time we considered for both the cases now c by v now i am going to divide c by v then it will be d dash by t by d by t so here t t got cancel and we found d dash by d we know that c by v is your refractive index of the denser medium <coughs> so here we can write or c by v is nothing but a refractive index of the denser medium we considered here water medium so mu of the water medium equal to d dash by d right so the, therefore d dash will be equal to d into mu w or refractive index of the water into d so here we found d dash the so called optical path of this path is equal to mu a refractive index of the denser medium here we considered water medium refractive index of the of the denser medium into whatever the distance traveled by the light in that medium okay so here in the denser medium the light traveled d distance then what will be its optical path we have to just multiply its refractive index with this distance okay so here for the water medium we have to multiply 1.3 into this distance so for the glass this value will be changed for fiber or for any transparent material it will be changed and we, we are going to multiply accordingly okay okay so here we can write that optical path this one optical path <coughs> optical path this optical path is your refractive index refractive index of the medium and how much distance how much distance traveled by the light in that particular medium okay in that particular medium this is the uh, uh one you, you can say itself definition of the optical path but in general the what will the definition here i written uh, you can write in your note uh, here you can see that as i told that the this denser medium can be changed by uh, can be replaced by any medium that may be glass that may be fiber whatever may be so in general optical path is defined as the product of the product of refractive index of the medium refractive index of the medium 
and the path traveled by the light in that medium okay in that medium that means in that denser medium okay <clears throat> so here i'm going to write it will be better in that denser medium optical path is defined as the product of the refractive index of the denser denser medium and and the path traveled by the light in that in that denser medium okay okay let us consider so here uh, as i told that uh, the refractive index here i written mu because this for this uh, uh, figure or for this example we consider the water as our denser medium so here we written mu w but this can be anything so in general it it has it is written as mu so d dash will be equal to mu into d so here mu may be uh, glass may be fiber or anything okay so let us consider one <coughs> example okay so this is the question that we considered a glass medium in which light traveled a distance d equal to 10 cm in a particular time so what will be the optical path that we have to find out find out the optical path of the light which travels 10 cm in 2 seconds in the glass medium in glass medium in the question it has been given that the light traveled 10 centimeter in 2 second in the glass medium then what will be the optical path of this distance of this distance will be equal to how much we know the generalized uh, form a generalized formula is your d dash that is your optical path equal to mu that means a refractive index of that medium into d so as we know that for the glass the refractive index is your 1.5 approximately and here d is your 10 so what will the answer then answer will be the optical path will be equal to a refractive index of the glass into the path traveled inside that medium okay so here it is given that 10 10 so we can get the answer equal to 15 okay So here we found that here we found that the light will be traveled 15 centimeter in air medium if it is traveled 10 centimeter in glass. So here this 15 centimeter is the so-called optical path optical path of the length 10 centimeter. Which one is the distance traveled by the light in the glass medium in the glass medium okay so thank you so much for watching this video likewise you can consider any medium and you can find out the optical path so thank you so much for watching this video thank you